Ninja 1000. So if you're watching my video right now, you probably are thinking about buying this bike, or you already have it. Well, I got mine, this is the 2015 by the way, and I got mine probably about uh, six to eight months ago. I have about three or four thousand miles on it. Um, it's one of three bikes, so I don't get to ride it as much as I'd like to. And uh, to be honest with you, I had a love-hate relationship with it, and now I just love, love the bike. But I, there's a few things you really need to do to make it so that you're happy with it. So um, this video is for you guys, so you don't have to learn the hard way. I learned from researching on the forums and getting opinions from other people. So here we go in no particular order. One of the things I hated about this bike was the uh, handlebars, the steering was really heavy. Meaning that you had to put a lot of input on the bars to get the bike to turn. And then when it did turn, it almost wanted to like fall right into the turn. So on the forums, uh, I read and did what they suggested and I put a taller tire in the back. So in the comments, I'll put the actual tire that I purchased. And what this does is it just kind of raised the back end a little bit and completely removed that heavy steering and now it's a very neutral steering. Um, making this a nice light input to make the bike turn. The other problem I had was on the interstate at high speeds, way too much buffeting hitting my chest, my shoulders. I'm six foot two, uh, it's 32 inch inseam and it was like, it was very uncomfortable. I tried one windshield, other than the stock, still the same problem. Then I got this thing, and they call it the Pope's hat, because you can kind of see the shape of it. It's kind of like the, the Pope's hat. Um, I believe you can see it's a stream, V-stream. Okay. Um, the shield is actually clear from all the way through, but I went ahead and uh, plastic dipped the bottom half because I didn't like that, the uh, clear look. I did not. I don't like to go through a full tint shield because what you'll find is, I had one before on a different bike, was that uh, I'm, when I'm using this one, I'm looking over it, but I'm also at times looking through it. And that transition from no tint to tint, back and forth, back and forth, made it difficult for me to, you know, um, to focus. So I went with an all clear and just dip, plastic dip the bottom half. This windshield that now I can go as fast as I want on the interstates in an upright position. I don't even need to tuck and um, it's nice and smooth and stable. Very pleased with that. The other thing I suggest is covering your blind spots with these little blind spot mirrors. Those work pretty darn well. I've got them set so they just see off to the sides. Um, happy with that. The other problem that I had, um, which wasn't too noticeable until I went to Tennessee and was doing the twisties, was throttle response. You'll, see, you'll hear all over the place about the throttle response being very choppy. And that's true, it was. I didn't know what the heck the problem was. Then I stumbled on to Ivan. Ivan, um, he flashes the ECU and he makes some modifications uh, to fix that. And I just got the, the ECU back today and um, what made the, it just made a huge difference. Now the bike, you can slowly roll on the throttle, you can, um, and it doesn't it doesn't have that on off choppiness to the throttle. It was three hundred and fifty dollars, so kind of expensive, um, but it takes it takes that annoyance away from the bike, and uh, now it's a pleasure to ride. So very very pleased with that. Um, let's see, there was anything else? I uh, uh, added the the Shogun sliders on the side. You can see them right here. So haven't had to use them yet but uh, they're there just in case and then I also added this cool ram mount for my phone you know it goes right into the hole here at the forks to, and that's all taken care of so highly recommend that again it's um, get the bigger tire in the back end to fix the, the heavy steering get the Ivan's flash to fix the choppy throttle Get the larger windscreen if you are the type that, you know, I, I know it looks kind of stupid, but uh, it really fixes that for highway travel, which is, you know, I bought this bike for touring mainly. Um, so those are the modifications that I highly recommend. And, um, oh yeah, of course, I did the, the, the tail tidy in the back here and kind of move all that crap back there. Um, also, I did not get the panniers. $1,200 for those stupid little plastic boxes. However, if you're negotiating the bike and they're willing to give you those panniers, 
at a decent price, I would say get them. When I went on a trip to Tennessee last month, it sucked not having them. I had to put a big bag, not the bag you see, but a big bag on the back holding all my camping gear and clothing, and that was a pain in the ass. So, um, unless you're planning on not doing any touring at all, you know, then don't, don't bother. Oh, the other thing that I really liked was I raised the handlebars. It looks like an actual OEM part. See, so the handlebars would have been down here. Now they're up here. Um, I'll try to put the link for that as well. Excellent. Brings up just a little bit more for better upright position. Um, I think that's it. So someone on the, on, the, on the forums on YouTube said change the hand grips. I changed them to what they suggested. Personal preference here, but honestly, I think that the stock hand grips, at least on the 2015, he had a 2012, uh, were better as far as reducing vibes. Once I put these on, I feel like I, like I can feel more vibes. So, and that was the whole purpose of swapping them out was to reduce the vibes. So, that's it. I think you'll love the bike once you make some of those changes. You know, and uh, right on.